Welcome viewers. Today we are discussing about the uh, transit of Venus from uh, Virgo to its own uh, zodiac sign Libra. So it is a happy moment for many of us because uh, Venus was debilated for quite some time last 15-20 days so that there were many chaotic situations especially in mood uh, like mood swings relationship problem and uh, having no confidence, non-motivated. It is particularly more or less according to one's own zodiac or their own zodiac sign or their own chart. So it depends how, what is the margin of it, it is more or it is less or what areas it has given. For some it would have given a problem in uh, confidence, self-care and all. For some it is as such they are not concentrated, focus is not there. For some they would have had lot of arguments, the differences in opinions and all. In finance, for some it is financial uh, situation going very low, not having enough finances to meet their own needs and all. So this was a troublesome period for last 20 days and that too we had a uh, eclipse which was causing a problem to Virgo directly the sign of Virgo so the impact would have been more but now happily this 18th Venus has uh, come out of this debilation moreover Virgo was the debilation point of uh, Venus so once in a year it has to go there so now he has come out Venus has come out we can say he we can say she whatever it is it depends upon one's own perspective so here I, I would say it so that it can be he or she. Venus has come out of its debilation. So this period is a happy period, a growing period, a new journey starting for Venus which starts from its own zodiac sign Libra. Libra, Venus is first according to tarot. Venus is represented by the tarot card, the Empress, the one of the best tarot cards. In the deck, the, this Empress cards, uh, card depicts fertility, uh, fulfillment, uh, come, things coming to fruitification, dreams coming to fruitification, enjoyment, happiness and all. So this uh, Venus is represented by this card. This card comes into its own uh, house of zodiac Libra. Libra is also Venus. But Libra is represented by two tarot cards. One is justice and another is judgment. More or less these two qualities are one. The first is the balance. Just as we know the symbol of Libra is balance. So is the symbol of justice tarot card is also balance. Bringing balance in life, light and dark, happiness and uh, grief, everything coming to a moderation, not going too much in happiness or not going too much in grief. So there should be a balance between, like we balance food with sweet, we balance food with salt, like that Venus is a balancer here, where there is no problem in life, you can manage them, so sir. But here what it makes for some of them because the judgment card is also present there. It makes them little bit judgmental towards their own decisions, their own opinion and all. That one thing sometimes it may be high at this point when Venus is transiting Libra. That your judgmental qualities whether it is about your own self or your near and dear or your people around you or the situation, it can be anything. So that judgmental quality has to be taken care of, otherwise it can create unnecessary uh, problems. Now Venus will be transiting into three stars in this uh, zodiac sign. First from 18th September to 24th September, Venus will be transiting in the Chitra Nakshatra which is represented by the tarot card Two of Swords. And from 24th September to 5th October, uh, Venus will be transiting in Swati Nakshatra which is represented by the, star, uh, by the tarot card Three of Swords.
and lastly from uh, 5th october to 16th october venus will be transiting in the star vishakha which is represented by the tarot card four of swords now the energy of venus along with empress judgment card and uh, justice card will be traveling along these three stars carrying the tarot card energy of two of swords three of swords and four of swords in the two of swords segment when venus is transiting it will give you a mind set that you are not able to take any decision you feel that you are in a position where there is no solution to your problem you feel that you are left in a crossroad whether to take a decision or not to take a decision or the decision you have you have taken is right or wrong you are not able to make a decision so you sometimes you feel that you are skeptical sometimes you are judgmental sometimes you are confident sometimes you are pessimist so all these mixed emotions create such a feeling in you that you are not confident enough to take any part so it's better this 10 days from 18th september to 24th september try not to take any judgment or try not to take any major decisions because later on you may feel that you were in hurry or you were hasty in decision so in the second segment when venus is transiting in the swati star it is represented by the card the three of swords from uh, 24th september to 4th of october so this time period makes you think that you have lost the battle there is nothing now you can get pick more about this libra the zodiac sign is the seventh uh, uh, zodiac from the kal for the kal push so for and moreover venus is a planet of love and relationship so definitely there is going to be some upheaval in your relationship for some ascendants it will be very good for some it will be low and for some it will be really bad so but it will definitely it will have impact on your relationship your mood your emotions your way you uh, talk the way you handle your relationship all this will be impacted so in the first segment you will be confusing you you yourself will be confusing and you will be confused so better not to take any decision better not to tell any words that hurts other and in the middle segment when venus is transiting in the swati star the three of swords uh, uh, energy gets activated this this card gets activated and brings some uh, heat in the relationship either you will be hurting or your partner will be hurting so it can make things go really bad sometimes this card can bring really good things also this three of swords can bring the heart break into a good one the old memories the old heart break gone and a new era starting that can also be a be there but it depends upon what zodiac you are stay tuned till the end so that i will uh, tell the venus predictions for all zodiac aries to pisces so you can know how it will be for your zodiac so be patient and uh, stay tuned till the last if you want my consultation you can uh, message me in with uh, whatsapp and you have any queries you can definitely Uh, message me and uh, subscribe the channel and hit the icon now bell so that you can get new videos whenever we post it so that you can't miss you can know about the astrological journey of each planet and how it can impact you and uh, third when venus and enters the vishakha nakshatra vishakha nakshatra has the influence of mars mars is posited in the 8th zodiac from venus so some transformative ideas may come in you 
you this four of swords uh, card when gets activated because of the vishakha nakshatra transit of venus it can create a meditative and contemplating mindset in you so that it can bring some ch transformative changes because vishakha is ruled by mars and mars is posited eighth from venus it can bring transformative changes what is really important to you what is not important where i can rectify my fault who is in fault who is not in fault what's going wrong what, how good i can make it uh, to make it better in life and what the things i can introduce all the thoughts can come in your mind so that this is a transformative time segment in your life uh, for some it is for more good and some for to release the toxins from life we will see for whom more it is now we will analyze a from aries to pisces ascendant wise for aries your second and seventh lord is moving into your seventh house so really it will be a very good time for arians because uh, your relationship and your uh, emotions and your one to one relation with your life partner will definitely improve any past mistakes happened or any past bitterness in your relationship was it will vanish and you will start a new life a new journey with your partner Uh, emotionally and also physically so that part of uh, ha you had a lot of bitterness some unwanted issues happened between you that all the time will make it heal and you will uh, feel things uh, becoming better your communication with them is better the, you you are opening up they respond well with you so these things can may bring lot of changes in your relationship Taurus for Taurus your first and sixth lord moves into your sixth house we can't say that this is really very bad but it is really it is somewhat uh, what i say uh, challenging period which can bring lot of challenges in your self worth the way you think and the way you put up yourself your imagination or your expectations from life may be challenging someone may work against you things may go against you your plans may boomerang such things are there health need to be taken care of long uh, health issues from long time you had now it disappeared now it can reappear now so you should be careful and mainly when you are tackling with the people of uh, not that friendly with you you should be very careful or otherwise small things can blast up so you should be careful for gemini your 12th lord and 5th lord is entering in your 5th house it is okay not very bad not very good for your children and all there may be lot of expenditure going for their growth for their development and to bring new ideas to implement you will spend a lot to bring some creative changes in your workplace or in your home or in your children's life or in your own life you have to spend a lot now is the time you want to start a Uh, course for your job and all now you will be tempting uh, tempted by the offers getting that you may get a some concession from the institutes that you spend and join a course and all but overall it is a good time for communicating for starting new creative works or uh, doing something for your children or starting a new course this is an excellent time now for cancer your 11th and 4th lord is entering your 4th house so excellent period for relationship for bringing assets for uh, bringing changes in your finances and any problems in your finances you will get help from others long pending works will be over you want to renovate your house you want to buy a property you want to buy a car now is the excellent time that you can do that because you will get the help you will get the resources you will get the plan and you will uh, the things will be smooth sailing so it will be excellent period for cancerians and if you had any relationship problem because of family fights quarrels family quarrels 
Now it is the time that you get help from others, sit, talk and rectify the problem. So two families, those who have parted ways, now is the time that you sit together and bring all the hearts together. So that is a very good uh, improvement we can get. So now for Leo, your 10th and 3rd Lord is moving into your 3rd house. Uh, uh, from last few days Venus was in your second house debilated so finance would have been and career would have been uh, affected low money income flow or money getting wasted drained out all these things would have been there now it is a very good time your 10th lord and 3rd lord moving into 3rd house you will get new avenues new quarters to expand your business communicative business will be more good where you can communicate with others if your profession is communicating with others or you have the uh, profession of explaining like teaching or guiding others this is the excellent time your career will improve new offers you can get you want to go abroad this is the good time for that so this period after long time for leos this is an excellent time for Virgo, your ninth and second Lord is coming to your second house. So, a lot of changes in your thinking will be there. You will implement good ideas. Your belief system will make you to bring lot of changes that you get strong intuition power to bring changes in your finances and as well as your home. So, that will bring lot of changes in your finances, especially your liquid finance your day-to-day -day issue of finance, how to manage things, that all you will get. And you will get the support also and you will get intuitions to how to improve your finances. So, excellent time for Virgo. Long pending works related to finance, which otherwise you were very hesitant to do. Now you will get the guts, you will get the plan, you will get the support to do it. Libra. For Libra, your 8th and 1st Lord is moving to your 1st house, your own house. So, the, it is a mixed result. I would say that this is a welcome one. It will bring motivation. Some transformative change, stagnation will go, blockages will go. What you didn't want to do, now you will think that, okay, I will do it, I will finish it off. Such type of motivation will come in your mind. And you will start thinking about how to implement it that you may, from many days you didn't ever want to do it. You never thought of doing it. Scary ones also you will have the guts to do it now. So it's a good one. But be slow. Don't take very hasty decision. Think about it and go, uh, go for it. But it will be a transforming one, a transforming one not only in your family life but in your career, finance and all. It may be of anything but mainly for you will be your personal thing. What your personality development, from long time you were letting off things just because you want to be good, to, to be in a comfort zone. But now you will feel that you no more want to be in a comfort zone. You want to be what you are. So such transformal change, transformative changes can come. Now for Scorpio, your 7th and 12th Lord is entering your 12th house. So there may be some differences with your spouse, your business partner, your life partner and all. Yeah, things will be in such a way, the way they, because the three of swords energy also says that uh, hateful speeches, hurtful speeches will make the relation to end. So you should be very careful, otherwise this can go to an extreme level also, so be careful. Uh, because this is a, a transital period of one month, being patient in these lines is very important. Otherwise, it can tell very badly upon your relationship. Uh, ending of relationship is not the solution. You have to be patient and carry it. So, otherwise, this uh, time period will make you to take erratic decisions. You get frustrated and you take uh, some extreme decisions. So, that thing you should be careful otherwise uh, otherwise family uh, relationship these things will create lot of fuss in your mind you are not able to concentrate that can even affect your relation with your business partner as well so you should be very careful meditate upon it 
daily uh, daily if you do it is very good if not at least on fridays you try to donate rose flowers or offer it to mother goddess any feminine deity and read shri suktam so that this negativity of uh, venus in the 12th house can be counteracted and you know for sagittarius your 6th and 11th lord moving into 11th house this is a, a tricky situation where your enemies and your friends they appear some are fake some are new and all some are real and all you can't make it out who really is but now is the time that you will find who really are your friends and who really are fake you will come to know all those things and you can choose the real ones in your life real friends will come to your help not only in your business or your career even in your relationship your personal life and all you will make it out who is real and who is fake so this is excellent time once in a while you get such a time period where you can make it out who is real you will get the help of your friends and relations who are in your circle your social circle also they can come to help you help means it doesn't mean that you will fall into trouble and they will help it's not like that it is as such you are you are aiming for a bigger position in your life someone may come they may turn your mentor or you may applying for a visa some help will come or you may get a offer from a abroad friend so something like that help means that way not that you will fall in trouble and somebody will come and rescue you that's not the thing it is as such that from unknown sources especially from the friend circle and your social circle where you had uh, uh, no clue that they will help you those quarters you will get help and now for capricorn your 5th and 10th lord is entering into your 10th house from long time you had some uh, job related problem profession related problem now it will come to an end you will get a comfortable job where you can put your creativity your creative perspective will come to forefront and you can prove your talent so for capricorn this is an excellent time and for aquarius your 4th and 9th lord is entering your 9th house so here what it is your belief system your Uh, religion and your good karma these all things will be in high uh, main pedestal it will be there you will uh, leave your comfort zone to achieve good things your goals related to such things your you will leave the comfort zone and go for your belief to happen what you believed that to uh, there may be situation that you have to prove yourself who you are so now you will come out of your comfort zone to prove what you are and what you are from inside that you will do so such things can happen to aquarius where some challenges can come so that you can prove yourself at that time you may get the support of your family and sometimes you can leave the comfort of your uh, family to go ahead with what you feel and what you want to do and for pisces your third and eighth lord is going to the eighth lord there may be lot of confusions coming up you have to take uh, drastic decisions in life the past mistakes coming up and past communication with others may get the worse end and you have to take a disastrous decision to let off things to for a new beginning so such is the energies for pisces already having any family issues court cases this time period is of letting off rather than gaining so be careful if you have any such problems in your life try to postpone the legal matters till 16th of october otherwise you have to pay the uh, price for what you had done in the past whether it is good or bad the result may not be that favorable so it is better that you try to leave this matter to go in a slower phase rather than with rageful ness 
or want to prove yourself this is not the time for all those things now it is now it is the time that you are forced to pay for what you have done so now the transformational changes can come which may be little bit painful so you should be careful in taking any decisions so those are the energies for all zodiacs if you like our channel kindly like share and subscribe